Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. This time we'll go as another vanilla character because it's been a little bit since we played. Actually, we, we might have played as horror last. I don't remember. Whatever. We're going to play as a vanilla character anyways. I'm going to go steroids because I think steroids is a lot of fun. I think I did unlock a golden weapon for him. No, I didn't. Anyways, let's see what his skins are. Defeat the big machine on loop. Okay, that's fine. An inverted big machine. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Um, let's go in. Big Machine is the boss that's in the labs, right? I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this guy, we get ourselves dual weapons. That's the whole his ability is. I love it. It's so nice. It works really goddamn well with a lot of stuff. And it is something that I'm going to be using a hell of a lot. I'd like to try and get two weapons that use the same ammo type if possible. But it doesn't really matter because otherwise you've just got like a situation like this where you can do like... Shots by one gun, then follow up with the next one. Shotgun obviously isn't the best here for this, because uh, its spread is so wide, but it kind of works. Also, I am on a new update of the uh, Ultra Mod, by the way, um, that uh, should have a new mutation in it, as well as some changes to some existing mutations, like shotgun shoulders and stuff. This is also a new weapon that has been added this update, and it's one of the early level zero weapons. Um, alternator, it looks to be, um, okay, let's take Recycle Gland now. It looks to be a weapon that just alternates between all the different firing modes, so I'm guessing Poison is in here as well. No, maybe not. There's definitely Fire, there's definitely Frost. It might just be between Fire and Frost, to be honest. Get you out of the way for a sec. But this is a really, really good early level weapon. Nice stuff. I like that. Okay, level three, baby. We're looking for our throne butt as well. If we can get it, throne butt on this guy is pretty goddamn good. Second stomach I'll take. Okay, careful of all of these guys. The only thing about this thing is it is a little bit slow firing. But we're getting through it doesn't fire the fastest. That's why it's level zero, though. That's why it's a low-level weapon. But it's, like, one of the better low-level weapons. I hope you can get a gold version of this. That would be really nice. If that hasn't been added, I would love to see it. I'm always looking for more and more gold weapons. There's already a pretty wide variety, but the more that there is, the, the better it is for me. I just like that having the variety of different things to start and use. It's fun. I guess not often you get to start out like this straight away with the uh, chests right there next to you, but there you go. It's nice to have this bow with us here. So I'm able to sort of enemies that need immediate attention, like these little um, bow and arrow, not bow and arrow, ninja guys. Uh, I'm, I'm the one with the bow and arrow. The ninja guys we need to like immediately take care of. The rest of them is kind of like, we'll get to them, we get to them. But this is a good setup so far. I'm liking it. Good stuff. Beautiful. And we get a flame pop gun. I will definitely take that. Now we have two weapons that go together pretty damn well. We'll take um, extra maximum ammo here. And we will just wail on everything with lots of flame. Do you know what would be really nice to see? Um, I know that obviously a mutation, new mutation just got added. I'm not exactly sure what it does, to be honest. I think, I think it was something like... If you were to take fatal damage, instead you lose 50% of your ammo or something like that, if I remember correctly when I was reading about it, which sounds pretty cool. I like the idea behind that. Um, but do you know what would be really cool to see? Um, so there's two, two mutations that I wish there was. One of them is I wish there was a mutation that boosted explosive damage in some way or another. Because there's basically, there's a mutation for every type of damage apart from explosive. There's like a bullet one, a shotgun one, you know what I mean? There's all the different types. Um... More effective when firing both weapons. Yeah, there you go. Um, we'll also take a take a crown here, maybe. We'll have a little look, see. Um, and the other one is uh, one that like boosts elemental damage of, of various kinds. That'd be really nice too. Uh, so let's see what, what we want to take here. Um, let's have a little look, see. Weapon drop tier increases. Um, Die and be reborn for one area of infinite ammo. Higher chance for inverted portals. Let's go with that. Higher chance for inverted portals. I'm really close to... I was just about to say, I'm really close to death here, so I might just end up dying the moment we take that crown. But now, we can 
quit back and go steroids and then we can pick the crown option and it means we can pick whatever crown we want but higher chance from there it sounds good when we're going for one of these um what's it called um what's the name of it i forget the name of it we're going for one of these uh, alternate skins that's the one because it wanted to be uh kill the inverted version of the big robot guy um and upping the chances of that happening seems like a good idea to me I'm just going to stick with the pistols for now. I don't know what, like, sort of an increase we're going to see, to be honest, to our inverted portal chance. I don't know if it's going to be a really big increase or not. I'd expect it to be, sim like, pretty similar to the inversion magnet weapon that we've seen before. But I'm not entirely sure on that. But technically, we could go with the inverted... The inversion magnet as well as inverted portals, which seems like complete overkill, obviously, but why not try it? Um, all your bouncing projectiles bounce further. Okay, so this this buffs everything that bounces now rather than just shot. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take that. That's pretty good. It buffs all bouncing projectiles now. So that that's that's the change that he made to um, shotgun shoulders. Because before it just affected the shotgun shells and pop shells. But now any bouncing projectile, including bouncer weapons, you get more of a bounce from, which seems really good. Oh, and we got a, we got a bouncing weapon here, I just realised. Having a really hard time hitting this guy. Th these are bouncing a lot further. And we got bouncer on this as well. That's incredible. Okay, very, very nice. Um, let's take Hammerhead for that extra bit of stuff when we leave the stage. Ow. We need accuracy up with this as well, and then we'll be in the real money. I can't believe we got Bouncer on this as well with uh, Shotgun Shoulders. This thing's really hard to hit with, honestly. Cool. Level 4 as well. Um, Trigger Fingers maybe is a good one for this. Okay, these aren't bouncing projectiles, so we're reasonably safe to them. No, I wanted to use that, God damn it! Every time. Do not want to go to the courtyard right now, thanks. Okay. I see you in there, fella. Well, this thing's doing a pretty good job of killing up most everything. Club is good, but I'm sticking with my inversion magnet for now. Let's put shotgun on this bad boy. Now we've got shotgun shells and bouncer shells coming off of these, this this thing already firing regular shells. Very, very nice. This shotgun is uh, pretty amazing right now, I, I've got to say. I'm in love with it. Um, so let's, let's take Strong Spirit here because I'm just not feeling super safe. Good. Is that it? No. I'm going to say, surely not. I can't remember which path we've got to take to get to the lab, you know. If we want to get inverted lab, where, where we go to do that. Okay, so there's a lot of electricity down here. Honestly, having a really hard time managing what the hell's going on here. We're just about living. That was confusing. Gotta say, that was confusing. Um, absorbing pause is just too good. Reload speed off flame. Go with flame. 
Good stuff. My we'll exit through here. Not looking forward to the inverted dragon here. Dude, these laser dudes are so goddamn hard to kill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Got absolutely destroyed by him there. So maybe that's not the crown we want to take. Um, that, that one's always good. You take double damage, increase the value of radiation. Weapon drops over heal one instead of giving ammo. That sounds so insane. I I feel like this one could be a good idea to take early and then swap away from later. Basically get a ton more rads early on. And then swap to a different crown once you feel like the double damage is going to end up getting you killed. So we already got level 2 here. Is that an assault rifle pistol? Yes, it is. I'll take the assault pistol. That's a good amount of leveling from the fair stage there. Uh, then we take second stomach here. Make sure we get all them rads. I like the way he just looks like a chunk of rads following me. Morpho pistol. Nice, level 3. Go with better accuracy, and that's going to be work pretty well on this guy. Good little bit of increased accuracy. Yeah, this extra accuracy is something I want to be taking, because this guy a lot, I think. Nice. Killed that guy without any worry whatsoever. You can see this has clearly worked out pretty well. Like, we're level 4 already. Which is pretty unprecedented. Um, I think Power Craving's probably a good one to take. Um, let's be careful here. Leave you alive for a hot second. Grab that. Come back and grab that. Pizza time. Right. Don't want to go through yet. Hold up. There you go. Just want to unlock that, make sure we've got it. Through we go. Um, Alien Intestine seems very interesting as this guy. I'm going to take Rhino Skin instead here, though. Dude, honestly, Eagle, Eagle Eyes is something I'm going to take as this guy literally every time, I think. Super goddamn useful. Like a Shark Boy is, is, uh, is about... Dude, this guy is insane! Dude! That boss is stupid. <laughs> it's way too strong for where it shows up in the game, I think. That lunge attack, it, I just find it so impossible to stay away from. I was moving back constantly then, and I still couldn't get out of range of it. Come through here. Good old inverted portal. Um, second stomach, again, is just a really good one to take early. With reds being worth so much, we've got to make sure we get them all. Lovely. Ow. Good hit, good sir. Oh, bugger. That thing came out with such speed. Oh, dude. Dude. If you have a golden weapon, you start with two of them. I've been waiting for this to happen. This is so good. 
That's, I, I'm, I need some more golden weapons. I've been waiting for this to happen. Oh, here it is. The Bouncy Fat. If you have ammo and take lethal damage, prevent it and lose 50% of base ammo. Pretty awesome stuff. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay, just get in there with this. And we go with Eagle Eyes again here. Honestly, I'm cool to just stick with this for now. Easy. No level 4 this stage, though. And that's a new early game weapon as well here. The uh, Morpho Revolver, yeah. yeah. Luckily, we can destroy most of the enemy shots that come our way here, so... we go. I'm a little scared going through here with this. Um, I could take long arms here, I guess. Well, I'm not planning on sticking with melee forever. It doesn't seem like a bad idea right now. That was very close to me dying there. Director shotgun. I think that means I have literally no ammo for my grenade launcher there. I think that's what prevented my lethal damage. Cool. We are through. Um, Golden Bouncer SMG, hell yes. That's such a good one to grab. Cool. Okie dokie. Golden grenade launcher. Good, good. Oh, damn, we are leveling up fast. We do need to change over our um, crown soon, though, because we don't want double damage forever. But this is in a bad spot if we do. Oh, here we go. We're going to be fighting the, uh, the big boy himself. We probably want to switch over the weapon we're using. I feel like these weapons aren't going to cut it. Where's our red chest? Frost machine gun, I think. Unfortunately, with this crown, I don't know if this is going to go very well, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, we made it to the inverted area as well. Okay, this this crown is this crown is good for leveling up, but it's a bit... bit sketchy. Start in the sewers. Did I just unlock that or something? Start in the sewers. Wait, what? I must certainly have not started in the sewers here. I'm confused. Anyways, let me let me just quickly actually select the bouncer. Is this is this a bouncer SMG? I think it is. 
Um, enemies drop NERADs. Hmm. That's it. Let's try that out. That seems pretty good. But yeah, we definitely need shotgun shoulders now with this having the extra bounce. But the, get the fact that you get two of these, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Level two already here. Amazing stuff, goddamn, we're killing it. We need something to give us more ammo as well. Um, good, good. Keep it going. Yeah, ammo is the primary concern here. My health isn't great right now, but... Oh, for God's sake. So I want to try this out, though. I think this could be pretty good. Nice. It's only like a two ammo per shot weapon now, really. Good, good. We need to not lose health so that we can gain the overhealing. Cool. Level two on the first stage is always good. I was hoping for something ammo related, but I guess this will do. Lovely. Give me that shotgun shoulders game. I'm constantly getting healed from chests now, which is pretty good. Getting a lot of inverted areas now. Maybe that inverted crown's effect is just stuck around. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of inverted areas when I don't think I should be. Get all of that. This guy's going to start firing explosives at me in a second. Yep. There's a little missile coming out of him. What's, what's this little missile doing? When will it blow up? There you go. <laughs> that kind of spooked me. Okay. All good. All good. I'm liking this uh, this session, though. This has been a fun one. Um, Eagle Eyes, we said, was really good. Shotgun Shoulders, there you go. I don't know. Is it working with this? It doesn't seem to be bouncing that much further. I don't know. It kind of is. It's just hard to tell. I think it's doing one, maybe two extra bounces. I haven't really been counting how many bounces it was doing beforehand, I'll be honest. Cool. This is a fun setup. The fact that you start with two of the same gun is very fun. Need open mine for more chests. That'll work very well with this. Maybe not cool? Oh, it's here, I see. I was like, where's the pole? Bro, I still want to go to this crown vault thing soon, but... Whatever you want to call whatever that is. The courtyard, but I'm just not ready yet. Yeah. This is pretty awesome. This is... I'm liking it. Um, second stomach again, I think. Mm. 
Need uh, back muscle as well soon, really. Cool. And do we get the inverted area of this area again? I wonder. <laughs> I love this, shooting down these corridors where there's like, the bullets have nowhere else to go. Hey, we finally got some overheal. Um, yes, throne book please, thank you. I was running out of ammo there, but I think that's... Okay, we have to be on loop, don't we, to get the, uh... To get the, the first skin unlocks. It's not as simple as just killing him. That would be a bit too... Bit too shrimple. Yeah, I definitely want open mind next. Because I think this throne with open mind could be pretty insane. Up to overheal 11 already. Who needs rhino skin? Okay, Throne Butter's really knocked this, this build out of the park. I don't think I wanted to kill that, um, that sheep, did I? My bad. I think I'm going to be going somewhere I don't expect now. Okay, all good. I need to get this chest. There you go. Overheal. Up to 14, baby. Um, block the first hit every stage so we don't lose our overheals. Okay. Okay, this little bitch is going to be annoying as all hell, I think. Luckily, doesn't have a lot of health. Beautiful stuff. Overheal 15. Explosive heavy assault rifle does sound fun. And the ammo situation is probably going to be more dire now, though, is the only thing. And we could also end up killing ourselves accidentally. But I'm willing to give this a go. The explosive assault rifle was really good last time. More overheals. Okay. These guys are for sure going to be annoying and hit me through that bit while I'm walking on the webbing. Okay, nice. Okay, big bats in the house. Our clan survivor saved most of our he uh, health there, but not all of it. Cool. We lost some overheal in the mixer. <laughs> But yeah, Alkaline Saliva to save our overheal was a, a genius play, I think. I feel smart. Ow. Yeah, I just lost it there. Oh wait, did I still lose overheal there? I think I did. Maybe Alkaline Saliva doesn't protect against it. We got some back. Um. Trigger fingers, maybe? Okie dokie. I can't remember what uh, our ultras are for this guy, either. Probably some good ones. But I think one of them is that, like, chests give you all ammo. I don't think would work for us.
Okay, I think we're all good on that front. Go through there real quick. Herming. Yeah, I'll take Herming on this. It is boss man. Heavy pop rifle. Heavy pop rifle, actually. Might be better this this time around. Although ammo consumption is gonna be crazy. I think this should think this should be pretty good. Right. Let's take out Mr. Throne. Should be a pretty quick kill, I think. Should be a pretty quick kill. Yes, it was. Did almost run out of ammo. Not quite. Got level 9, which will give us open mind. What I've been looking for. Nice. Awesome stuff. We are onto the loop. Okay, we've lost all of our overheal here, but we have open mind now. So we should be able to get it back easier. Cool, what we got here? The heavy assault pistol. I think we're pretty good with what we got going on now. Okay, so weapon chests drop two of the same weapon. Firing while having two of the same weapon slowly heals you. Very, very good. Ammo chests include all ammo types. You can carry an infinite amount of ammo above maximum decrease over time. The more total you have, the more knockback you deal. Right click fires your primary, um, swapping reloads your weapons. More bullet damage. Let's go with this one. Being able to stack ammo infinitely sounds pretty useful with weapons like this. Ooh, the knockback works on the truck as well. That's pretty cool. Cool. I mean, eventually I feel like we'll reach a point of having way over maximum ammo, right? Oh, when it says decreases over time, it means the amount of ammo I have decreases over time. And I thought it meant the amount I'd gain decreases over time. Okay, the knockback with that guy is... A little bit annoying. <laughs> the shot was interesting. We need a... Uh, what, what's it called now? Um, the one that knocks them back into walls and stuff. With all the knockback we're doing right now, it'd be insane. It decreases very quickly over time. Okay, that's not very good. I, I have literally no idea what's going on with this boss. I can barely see him. Is he dead? I don't know. Okay, he is dead now. Yeah, I gotta say, I'd like to see that ammo decreasing slowed down a bit. I get that it's probably because I'm using two of the same ammo type weapons, but that is ludicrously quick to decrease. It's it's barely worth it. New to be you. Yeah, look at look how fast that decreased down to 252. It's, it's pointless. <laughs> I definitely get the idea behind it decreasing over time. I don't, I don't 
I don't disagree. But slow it down a tad, please. Barely any point to it right now. Forget what this does again. 70% rads to enter. I want to go through here instead. Right. Where is it again we're going? One second. Okay, here. Um, we've at least got one of these, right? Yeah, we've got the assassin. Because there's some higher base HP, which is nice. I could go and do this now. I'm going to try and do my loop thingy though first. My, my bee skin. I'd rather get that sorted. Give me that ammo back. Dude, it just decreases so fast. It's criminal. Barely get time to shoot. Look at look how much ammo I just took. How much ammo I just grabbed out of all that. And I'm still at base. Look at that. When it was like 219, it was like, no, no, no. Lol. Mini rocket shotgun. Some police all the way up here, isn't there? There's air police. God damn it. Forgot about these dudes. Phoenix. Oh, that's pretty cool. How many of these guys we got? Is that it? That is it. I don't think that does anything different on loop. Not by the looks of it. Yeah, B skin. We did it. We did it. Killed one of those guys. Just trips and throw everywhere right now. It's pretty good stuff. I think I'm going to change crown, you know. Like, this crown has been good, but I'm just not getting enough chance to overheal for long enough. Like, I overheal and then it's just gone. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's the whole point, though, right? It is saving my life, technically, so can't be that bad, I guess. You know what I mean. Good, good. Right, try and get another loop going. I suppose one thing that is good about this ultra as well is this, this knockback is pretty amazing. Oh, I've killed myself. Amazing. Yeah, uh, it is pretty amazing on that, on that behalf. We, we, we've got that now. Um... So we went for that one. Um. Let's try that. I know it sounds risky, but... I'm curious to see sort of how much it ends up being. I wonder if it can kill you as well, or if it leaves you at 1 HP. Seems pretty good. Um, impact wrists, let's go. That's the one I, I wished I had last time. Impact wrists on loop is just so goddamn good. Especially with all that additional knockback we're getting. Bouncer revolver, that seems new as well. 
Lots of new early game stuff. I like to see it. Early game weapons are the most fun. Like, well, not the, I wasn't the most fun, but the ones you, you play with the most, so you're going to want them to be fun. It's what I'm, more so what I mean. Um, the cycle gland seems good in this situation. Yeah, we're at 3 HP now, so we'll end up seeing if it affects as much. And we take our damage over time. We're down to 2 HP now. Down to 1. I'm just going to wait because I'm just curious to know if it can kill me. Why'd that be a rat all the way up there? It, it seems like so far it can't. Unless the last hit is just very delayed. Cool. Run but here. Oh, stood right next to that car as it blew up. Amazing. Um, yeah, starting the sewers just doesn't work. <laughs> also, the crown looks different. I don't know what that's about. Telepatho. Oh, that's really cool. It's got infinite ammo. I've got to test this thing out. How do I use ammo on this? Okay, he uses ammo when it hits, I see. Really cool, though. I'm still going to restart because I want to have my, my double SMGs back. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, Let's just try and unlock a bunch of golden weapons this run. Do, um, what was it called? Yeah. There you go. Weapon mod chests with ultra chests. It's good to me. <coughs> cool. No level 1 yet, though. Pop rifle. I don't even know how you can have a level 1 cursed weapon. Come on, now. <coughs> it just seems rude. I'm not seriously telling me I'm going to finish this stage and not get to level 2. Okay, I am good. Good, good, good. Puffy Cheeks seems interesting, at least. Good, good. Direct a rifle now, thank you. Nice. Easy street. Um, impact rests again, please. It's just too fun. <laughs> the bodies just go so flying, it's this. Stood way too close to that. I didn't think my bounce was going to end up hitting it. I thought I was safe. I was not. We all good? Oh, there's one enemy all the way back over here. Why? Just teleport the enemy to me, please. It would be so much better for my mental health. <laughs> Don't have to traipse all the way back here. Got them. Got a big old health chest there as well, nice. Oh, almost out of ammo. Okay, this isn't good. Um, I guess in that case we go with Rabbit's Paw and hope to get more ammo drops, because we're about to be in a rough position here. That gave me shotgun ammo? Why? Anyways, I guess we'll leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.